always had this idea that, you know, especially after Revenge of the Sith, like we know just how physically destroyed he is. Like there's so little of him. Like mm -hmm. this is the interesting thing that you often don't think about. But, you know, it's like this seven foot tall guy in this like black armor. But what's underneath there is like virtually any human being. It's what Obi-Wan says, right? He's more machine now than man. Yeah. There's, there's, like, he's got no limbs. He's all burned up. Like it's almost like the stump of organic matter that's stuck in the middle of all this armor. And I kind of like, I like so they did that underneath all that armor, like Anakin Skywalker was still there, basically. We know that, right? Because he comes back at the end. We know Anakin Skywalker's never truly gone. Mm -hmm. from you know whatever spirit is inside of there right. and i kind of i like the idea of showing that so like put him in a back to tank similar again kind of matching up what you saw with luke in empire put him in a back to tank the the pitch behind it was listen he's so physically ruined and wrecked the arm we know the armor keeps him alive i like the idea that just every now and again he has to kind of take all the armor off and go into and some kind of rejuvenate like his organic self like go into a back like once a month he has to have like a star day right. to, like rejuvenate himself yeah, and yeah. i wanted to remind people like there really is almost nothing of the human part of him left i think the way i originally pitched almost like a like you know, see like a like a carnival freak show has like a deformed baby in a jar or whatever yeah. i wanted it to look like that but like the star wars version of it and then you know he, he comes out and all the steam and the armor and everything 